Hey guys, welcome back to Burns' Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to factor x squared plus bx plus c. x squared plus bx plus c is the standard form of a polynomial. So today we'll be learning how to factor a polynomial when the value of b is less than 0 and the value of c is greater than 0. Here we have a polynomial which is in standard form and it is x squared minus 12x plus 36. The value of b is negative 12 which is of course less than 0 and the value of c is 36 which is greater than 0. So when you're factoring a polynomial, you need to find two numbers or two factors of the c term. So in this case, the c term is 36. So you have to find two factors of 36 that when you multiply them, of course, you'll get 36. But when you add them, you get negative 12. So we're going to have two pair. We're going to have a pair of binomials. So we're going to have two binomials. So each of them is first going to have x. And then it's going to have either, it's either going to be both signs are going to be positive, both signs are going to be negative, or it'll be one positive and one negative. Now if you take a look, we need to find two factors that when you, mul when, you, when you multiply, you get positive, but when you add, you get negative. Well, we know that a positive and a positive can give you a positive when you multiply. But when you add, in order to get a negative, both of the terms need to be negative. So that means the two numbers that we will find uh, for the factors of 36, both need to be negative because remember, negative times negative gives you positive, negative plus negative gives you negative. So now we've figured out the signs, so now we need to figure out the factors so that we can complete the factorization. So we need to list the factors of the c term, which is 36. So we have to find the factors of 36. It's easier if you do it in pairs. So we know that 1 times 36 is 36, 2 times 18, 3 times 12, 4 times 9. And now remember, you don't need to go all the way. When you find two numbers that will fit in, to, when, you fit in when you multiply to get 36 and you add to get 12, then you can stop. So we know the next pair would be 6 times 6. So we know that 6 times 6 is, of course, 36. And when you add them, 6 plus 6 gives you 12. So we have found our factors. So it will be x minus 6 and x minus 6. So we have, found, we have factored x squared minus 12x plus 36. And we got the two binomials, x minus 6 and x minus 6. Well, this is a square of a binomial. So we can also write this as x minus 6 squared. So this is how you factor when you have the b term less than 0 and the c term greater than 0. Now, if you want to check your work, you can always solve the square of a binomial. And this is something we learned in a previous video, but I will also mention it in this video. So when you have x minus 6 squared, you're going to multiply. Well, let me go back. So you have x minus 6 times x minus 6. You're going to distribute the x term to x. So you're going to get x squared, and then you're going to distribute the x term to the negative 6, and you're going to get negative 6x. Now you're going to distribute the negative 6 to the x, and you're going to get negative 6x. And now you're going to distribute the negative 6 to the negative 6, and you're going to get positive 36. Combine like terms, and we get x squared minus 12x plus 36 which is our original polynomial up here. So that means that our answer is correct. So this is how you factor x squared plus bx plus c when the value of b is less than 0 and the value of c is greater than 0. Thanks for watching this video, and we will see you guys in our next one. Bye!